going to tell us that he too is going to join. Well, it's great to hear a member of the uh, Labour Party, not only the General Minister, intends to ask the British people uh, for a mandate to, uh, to rewrite the standards have always been amongst the very best in the world. And this House. Bill now be read a second time. Order before I call the Leader of the Opposition. The House will. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's often clear we leave the transition period without a deal. Without a deal. It means an isolated United Kingdom and the are so critically precisely because of that clarity because with that clarity comes a, a four minute limit for bike benches Theresa May thank you Mr Speaker 19 when there was the opportunity of a it intends to ask the British people to, uh, for a mandate to uh, to rewrite the deal in 2024 uh, that's what that's what he wants to do I think I think frankly Mr Speaker we got Brexit done let's keep Brexit done yeah. and, and, let's, and let, let, let's keep better than no deal and not implementing this deal would mean immediate tariffs and quotas with the EU which will push up prices and drive businesses to the wall it will mean huge gaps in security a free for all on workers rights and environmental protections and less stability for the Northern Ireland protocol it will be an avalanche of checks bureaucracy and red tape for British yeah. businesses Every business I've spoken to knows this, and every business any member's spoken to knows this. That's what they're talking about. It's there in black and white in the treaty. I will in one minute. There will be checks for farmers, for our manufacturers, for customs, on rules of origin, VAT, safety and security, plant and animal health. Finally know what Brexit means. We have it in black and white. It means the disaster of a deal. It means broken promises. It means economic vandalism. Here, here. It means an isolated United Kingdom in the middle of a global pandemic. It means questions and claims from leading Brexit cheerleaders about how this is the largest free... I'm sorry to inform them. It isn't. Here, here. The biggest and the best free trading bloc in the world is the one that this Tory government is dragging Scotland exactly. out of. It's made up of 27 nations and 500 million citizens. It's called the European Union.